This is Speak My Word Ministries Daily Pulse, and I'm Travis Zimmerman. And I'd like to share with you a psalm that I put down in my little prayer journal to memorize. I haven't memorized it yet, but man, it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful one. I tell you, God has such awesomeness in his words here. Listen to this. This is Psalm chapter 68, verse 19. And, and this, is actually, this is actually a psalm of David. Psalm 68, verse 19. Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Again, praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Psalm 68, verse 19. You know, there, where I gain inspiration in this, thank you God for this, is when I was at field training, we called it an Air Force, it was, it was officer boot camp, it didn't call it boot camp, but it was down in, in Dover, Delaware. And, you know, it wasn't that difficult. I mean, we, we had, it was, it, was, it was challenging, we'll go into that another time. But, but basically what happened is, you know, you didn't get much sleep. You know, you, they put you down at a certain time and, and they wake you up in the middle of nights occasionally and you didn't get a lot of sleep. You know, a lot of chance to sleep, but you were you were shining your boots and shining your your, your shoes and, and making sure everything was ready for inspection in the morning. And so, as you go through that, you're like, wow. But then what happens is the year after that, you have an opportunity to come back and actually be what was called a CTO, a cadet training officer. And I didn't do that, but I had buddies who did. And what I found out is, and when you're a CTO, a cadet training officer, you got even less sleep than the, the, you know, the recruits in there, the, the folks who were going through, the, the future airmen and, and officers who were going through boot camp. So they even got less sleep than the, than the recruits were in there. And I, I thought, what a picture of God that is. You know, it says God daily bears our burdens. God does not take us through anything that he hasn't seen the beginning, the middle, and the end of. I mean, truly, he does bear our burdens. In fact, those burdens, most of all, that most visibly to our eyes or the eyes of our, of our brother and sisters is, the burden that Jesus you know, bear on the cross. Jesus totally bore our burdens on that cross. So, I mean, what a leader. A leader is something, some, a person who will never subject his or her people to something they themselves are not willing to go through. And that is God perfectly. There's nothing he asks us to go through that he hasn't already seen the conclusion. You know, I've said this before. You know, a lot of times when we think of God being in heaven and it's a place of solace, it's a place of perfection, and God is perfect, but just like a mother who's waiting for her child to come back, she can't really keep her, she can't really be totally, uh, totally relaxed, you know, or or without pain because if that child gets in an accident or, or does some vandalism or something like that, it reflects back on the mother. Same with God, you know, he he feels our pain. I mean, when we suffer, he suffers. It's like it's like that footprints, you know, uh, a poem where we, where there's one set of footsteps because Jesus was carrying us during that that time. So God bears our burdens. He is a God who knows us. He's, he is transcendent for out there. He is close. He is, he's, he's both. He's just an amazing God. Serve him with all your heart and trust him to take you through those burdens. In Jesus' name, amen.